The Arizona Cardinals are one of the hotter teams in the beginning portion of the 2021 NFL season, with them starting at 10 and 2. But the Cardinals nose dive down the stretch, which seen them lose five out of their last six contests, and that includes a 34 to 11 loss in the playoffs to the eventual Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams. The Cardinals offseason has been an eventful one, and we will get into why later on in this video. But with the way that offseason went and with the way last season went, I really believe that the Arizona Cardinals are in trouble heading into this 2022 season. And that is what we're going to talk about in today's video is why is the Arizona Cardinals team actually going to be in trouble heading into this year. But before I get into that, make sure you guys leave this video a like as it always helps this channel to grow and it beats the YouTube algorithm. And about 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you are one of them, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss any of the content that I post on this channel. But let's talk about the Arizona Cardinals. Without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me when my music and she look a little prouder. The biggest problem that the Arizona Cardinals had to deal with in the 2022 offseason is the entire saga that surrounded the Kyler Murray contract situation. Now, we know Kyler Murray is one of the better quarterbacks in the league, and he's proven to be very productive throughout his first three years in the NFL. But to me, in my opinion, I think the timing of this is absolutely wrong for him. It could benefit the Cardinals in this way, because if you get the contract extended early before the market of the quarterbacks go up and up, you won't have to pay him the absolute top tier dollar versus if you get this contract done maybe a year or two down the road. And another problem that I have with this was the absolute timing of the contract demands. Because Kyler Murray is coming off of a bad stretch in 2021, which saw them lose five out of their last six games, including the playoffs. Kyler Murray did not play very well. He also has some stretches where he was dealing with some knickknack injuries. And another thing is Kyler Murray still has a fifth year option that was picked up by the Arizona Cardinals, which means he will be making 29 million in his fifth season in 2023. So even if the Cardinals and Murray were to come to a contract agreement, that extension will not kick in until the 2024 season. And are the Cardinals going to get a deal done early or are they going to wait and see how these next two years for the Arizona Cardinals Kyler Murray play out? That is going to be one that is, remains to be seen down the road. But I still believe Kyler Murray is one of the top tier quarterbacks in this league. He's very dynamic, a very good dual threat, who has been improving more and more as a passer as the years come along. And even early in 2021, there were all talks that Kyler Murray could be possibly the NFL's MVP of 2021. So Kyler Murray still has a lot of potential. He still has a lot of room to grow as well, but I just think the timing of everything is just a little bit off. The Cardinals come into this 2022 season losing three of their bigger contributors from the 2021 roster. They ended up losing running back Chase Edmonds to the Dolphins when he signed with them for a two-year deal. The next piece that they lost was Christian Kirk leaving to sign with the Jacksonville Jaguars on a four-year $84 million contract. Now, I'm just going to be honest here. I would have let Christian Kirk walk after that, too, because that is a big overpay for the Jaguars. But I'll get into that in another video at some point. And the biggest loss of all for the Cardinals this offseason was Chandler Jones departing to go to the Las Vegas Raiders on a three-year, $51 million contract. Now, first, I'm going to talk about the loss of Chase Edmonds. He was one of those running backs that was very productive, not only in the running game, but also in the passing game as well. And they had a two-headed running back monster with him and as well as James Conner. And they're going to miss the impact of Chase Edmonds in this offense, whether it would be in the running game or the short passing game in the screen game, which they ran a lot. Missing Christian Kirk is going to hurt. I think more than more people are going to believe he was a good number three option and sometimes number two option when DeAndre Hopkins was hurt last season. And they still have Rondell Moore on the roster, but I just think the loss of Christian Kirk is going to have a little bit more of an impact than we 
anticipate and I'll go later into details of why that is down the road. But the biggest loss is having that pass rush specialist in Chandler Jones. He was one of the better pass rushers, I think top five pass rushers that we have in the NFL. He's been one of the more lethal players for this Arizona Cardinals defense the past couple of seasons. And losing him and you not really getting much to replace him is going to hurt this Arizona Cardinals defense. Because you have an aging J.J. Watt, who number one hasn't been staying particularly healthy for a full season. He's getting up there in age, so you're not sure what you're gonna get out of J.J. Watt. And having Chandler Jones to pair with him took less of the pressure off of J.J. Watt, and that gave them that pass rushing dynamic duo. Including losing Hassan Reddick over the last couple of years, this Cardinals defense has been losing pieces that really contributed and really helped them going forward. And including the loss of Marcus Golding on your defense over the last few seasons, I think this defense takes a step back, a big step back when you do not have a guy like Chandler Jones wreaking havoc up front in your front four. Another loss that the Arizona Cardinals are gonna have to deal with to start the 2022 season is not having DeAndre Hopkins for the first six games as he was suspended for violating the NFL's performance enhancing drug policy. Now the Arizona Cardinals have been a little bit used to being without DeAndre Hopkins as he missed the latter half of 2021 due to injuries. So they're going to have to still make that adjustment again for the first six games without him. But they did make a major wide receiver trade to offset that, which is trading for Hollywood Brown during the first round of draft night of this past draft. Now you do have Rondell Moore alongside Hollywood Brown. You have AJ Green who, at all intents and purposes, he's definitely not the same wide receiver that he was during his prime years with the Cincinnati Bengals. So you're gonna have those three while DeAndre Hopkins sits out. Now, even though I believe Hollywood Brown is a solid receiver, I believe Rondell Moore is a very up and coming football player. Not having DeAndre Hopkins is going to hurt this team throughout the first six games and it can change the fortunes of their season, especially when you have a guy like AJ Green who is not the same player. And which is why I believe the loss of Christian Kirk is gonna hurt a little bit more because you're not gonna have another threat in your offense. Even though A.J. Green, I still believe is solid, he's not the same player, and he's not gonna give you the same things. So you're gonna have Rondell Moore and Hollywood Brown taking up a lot of the wide receiver load. You do have Zach Ertz at the tight end position, which could help, but he's also is starting to get into the latter half of his career as well. So the Arizona Cardinals, I think, are going to be in trouble Especially when you're in a division with the defending Super Bowl champion Rams. You still have the 49ers who's going to be competitive in that division. And you're in the NFC with the improving team like the Cowboys. With an improving team like the Philadelphia Eagles. You still have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC and as well as the Green Bay Packers. So I do believe that the Arizona Cardinals can be competitive. But I just don't believe that they are going to make it back to the playoffs. I just think the losses of Chandler Jones is gonna hurt more than what people think. I also think not having DeAndre Hopkins for the first six games is gonna hurt this team. Cliff Kingsbury, I still believe is a bit of an unproven coach and he still has a lot to prove. Can he get this team to keep playing consistent football for not only the first half of the year, but for the last half of the year as well? And is he going to get the best out of this team heading into 2022? The roster and the names say they can do so, but I believe the circumstances around them and the things that have been going on this offseason and the pieces that they lost, I think the Arizona Cardinals are going to be in trouble in 2022. But hey, those are just my opinions and my thoughts on that. Make sure you guys leave this video a like as it helps this channel to grow. Comment your thoughts down below. Whether you believe the Arizona Cardinals are going to be in trouble or not, leave your thoughts in the comments. And as always, click that subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss any of the videos I post. But I'm APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe and have a great and excellent day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.